Good morning. It is Tuesday, February 22nd, and welcome to the BHL pregame. I'm Jenna from Bud Headinger Live. We do this every morning at 530 right here on 540WFLA.com, keyword pregame. Um, I have to be honest with you this morning. It's uh, it's a little rough. I'm waking up to a whole lot of heartache and disappointment. I just found out um, every morning I get on our, our website and update all of the Glenn and the Rush and all those pages and I went on Glenn Beck's page this morning and I saw that he was in Daytona Beach for the Daytona 500 over the weekend. And Bud is making faces at me through the glass, which I greatly appreciate during the pregame. Such a jokester, that Bud heading room. Um, I found out that Glenn Beck was in Daytona Beach this weekend for the Daytona 500 and he did not call. It was, I mean... I can't even tell you. I heard him talking about it on the air yesterday, but I didn't think that he was actually in Daytona. You know, I mean, we were busy in the office. I kind of heard it in passing. And I'm just, I'm so heartbroken. I mean, I thought Glenn and I had something special. He came in. He did his show from here. Um, you know, I helped I helped produce it when he came in. And it's just, I mean, it's disappointing because it's, you know, you you just... You just really, you fall in love with somebody, and then you find out that they're an hour away and that they don't call. So, and I mean, I'm sure he's busy. He's Glenn Beck, and I still love him, but it's just, I mean, it's just next time call, or send send a card, or, you know, send me a message on the Facebook. Either, I'll take anything, um, but, you know, I just, I just missed having him around, so he could have called. Uh, also... I want to defend Rush Limbaugh this morning because people are saying that he called Michelle Obama fat, but he did not. I have the transcript of what he said. He was basically calling her out for being a hypocrite on this whole national nutrition. He said, and I quote, the problem is, and dare I say this, it doesn't look like Michelle Obama follows her own nutrition or dietary de- advice. And then we hear that she's out eating ribs at 1,500 calories a serving with 141 grams of fat per serving. Basically what he's referring to is Michelle Obama coming into schools and coming into restaurants and saying, this is what you need to be doing to keep American people healthy and not following her own guidelines. That's not calling her fat. That's calling her a hypocrite, which is true. And I think that that's being completely misrepresented. You know, a lot of the websites that I've gone to this morning are saying, you know, Rush Limbaugh called the first lady fat. No, he didn't. Um, Shocking that people are not getting their facts right about Rush Limbaugh. So... Just two of the things that are grinding my gears this morning. We're going to be talking about speed traps on the show today. Orlando has one of the highest areas of speed traps in the country. So hopefully you guys will get a chance to call in and tell us where the speed traps are in your area because I tend to be a bit of a lead foot. Don't tell Bud. Also, um, the what the heck news of the day. An Egyptian man named his daughter Facebook. I don't even know where to begin on that one. Um, I mean, what do you call her as a nickname? That's what I don't understand. I mean, Facebook, he's saying it's because of Facebook's role in the chaos that led up to everything that's happened in Egypt the last couple weeks. And it's just like, you know what? Egypt. Facebook had a little bit to do with it, but not solely responsible. And I think that it's getting far too much credit for what happened in Egypt and naming your daughter Facebook is a little much and just opens her up to criticism later in life. So that's what's going on today. Tuesday morning, hanging out. Uh, Bud's not feeling good. So we're going to try to cheer him up this morning. And by cheer him up, I mean play a ridiculous bumper song. So if you have any suggestions, hit me up on Facebook, WFLA Orlando or 540inbox at gmail.com. As always, you can find us online at 540WFLA.com. And thanks for watching the BHL pregame on Tuesday, February 22nd. This is Jennifer from BHL, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.